Lewis, I'm a solutions architect here at Atlanta Select, and today I'm going to talk to you about Cisco WebEx Control Hub. Today, collaboration technologies are mandatory as organizations transition to a remote workforce. Managing these collaboration technologies are critical for success, and the collaboration landscape is evolving and growing every single day. Now more than ever, Users are leveraging things like personal laptops, smartphones, and other devices from any and everywhere to connect to their teams. But as work environments become more and more flexible, it also becomes more and more of a challenge to deliver the quality of service the end user expects and the security that your organization demands. And to support today's ever-increasing remote workforce, you need a collaboration platform that's simple and efficient to manage. It needs to give your IT team, IT team visibility into rich business insights that can help with things like adoption, along with diagnostics that can help you triage uh, high priority issues fast or identify trends so you can get ahead of the curve and proactively adjust resources. We'll look no further. Cisco WebEx Control Hub is your collaboration command center. It's Cisco's solution for management, analytics, security, and compliance across things like Cisco WebEx meetings, calling, devices, team collaboration services, and contact center. It helps with things like on-premise and hybrid management. So whether you're trying to manage experiences that exist on-prem or inside the cloud with a super simple user management that allows identity providers that exist on-prem or in the cloud as well. And it also allows you to accelerate adoption and understand ROI. With WebEx services, you can measure different types of trends to make sure that you're having the adoption for the purchase that you made. And you can give the right access to the right people with policies that you define. This is an overall better experience for you, your end users, wherever they may be, and a better experience and management piece for the entire organization. So with no further ado, let's dig in. Hey everybody, welcome to the Cisco WebEx Control Hub demo. As we discussed, uh, Control Hub is uh, Cisco's solution for management, analytics, security, and compliance. Uh, things like uh, Cisco WebEx meetings, calling devices, team collaboration services, and of course, contract center. When you log on to Control Hub, the first thing you'll see on the dashboard is the overview itself. And we can see all the different WebEx services that we're currently leveraging and that they're operational. You also get a scope of what hybrid services you may be running. In this case, we see video mesh. And over here, we see the devices that uh, are a part of our organization. What's online, what's offline. If I mouse over, I can actually see the different devices that, uh, that are there and even drill down into uh, to those devices themselves if necessary. And over on the right-hand side, we can see uh, onboarding. So uh, we. 100% active means that everybody's logged into their WebEx sessions. Uh, verify would mean maybe that they've got their uh, user accounts and so forth created. If we scroll over on the left-hand side and look at our navigation pane, we'll go to users. And here we see the list of users that, uh, that have uh, access. Now you can manage these users. And if you wanted to add or remove, you could do that the, uh, the old fashioned way by doing each one individually, which we strongly do not recommend. Uh, you can also import from a CSV, but we also have integration with Active Directory. So I can turn on directory synchronization and sync directly with AD and all my users uh, from AD will import directly into Control Hub. Uh, the nice piece with this is that as users come and go, once they're removed from AD and they sync again with Control Hub, that user will be removed from Control Hub as well. So you're not logging into uh, multiple different platforms anytime a user comes and goes. Another nice feature is the auto assign licenses and when you can set up an auto assign template. Uh, this allows you to set up different types of policies where maybe you want all of your users existing and new users being added to have things like WebEx Teams or meetings. You can select those pieces here and anybody that's already been added uh, or any future people that will be added will automatically get those pieces or automatically be assigned. So it makes it very, very si simple for you guys to add existing users and then to make sure that those users have exactly what they need without too much of a heavy lift. As we go down the navigation pane and look over at workspaces, this is really kind of tagging the different uh, uh, 
different areas that we have, whether it's boardrooms or huddle rooms, you can provide whatever tag that you want and correlate that with uh, the specific type of device. It's easy to add uh, workspaces. You can simply click on the button over here for add workspace. The nice piece, you can give it a name that you want and then the type of room that it's going to be. Uh, as you select these different pieces, whether it's focus or you're doing a meeting room, we're gonna kind of have some of the pre-canned capacity uh, specs that, uh, that we recommend for those pieces. Now, because of COVID-19, these things may change and maybe what might be a, used to be a room for 15 or 20 people is now a room for five or seven you can set up the capacity threshold that makes sense for you and the business. And with our newer devices, newer boards, we can actually start doing things like people counts to make sure that we're not going above the capacity, their threshold that you recommend here. We also can provide reporting to see how many people are in those spaces at given time so that you understand if that uh, office is being used or not. So going down the line, we can look at services. Services can also can work from a cloud perspective and then also a hybrid perspective. We'll start off with the tried and true and look at meetings. So if you already have a site set up, you'll be very familiar with what it's looked like uh, in the past, but you can click on the, uh, the site, configure it, and all the different options that, uh, that you're used to from managing your uh, WebEx sites in the past are here now, but all inside Control Hub to give you access to all the other features that we see today. We can also do hybrid services. So integrating things like Office 365 to get that one button push to join is something that's incredibly beneficial to uh, all Cisco customers. And this is not a heavy lift. By simply clicking on setup, you can select how you wanna push this out and then simply click on authorize. Now I'm on a read only demo, so obviously I can't take it very far. Uh, but once I click that authorize button, you would just have to accept it on the Office 365 side. And really in just a few minutes, this feature is enabled across all of your users. So very, very simple, very, very easy lift. We have multiple integrations that go with Microsoft. Another example is from our message standpoint. So I can click on settings here. And if I wanted to change, for example, uh, some type of content management, I wanted to push it away from Cisco WebEx Teams for storage, I could easily select it here to change it over to Microsoft. So it's a very, very simple. As we go down the navigation side to devices, we can look at the devices that exist within our organization. Now I can make changes to a single device if that's something that makes sense or I can make changes to all the devices across my organization if I wanna do so from, uh, from this piece here. So an example would be this SX10. Uh, maybe I'm doing some type of uh, testing and I wanna configure auto answer or something to that effect. I can simply come in and change that right here uh, for this setting and that would uh, be pushed out. I don't have to console into that SX to make those types of uh, changes or configuration changes. Uh, but if I was looking at other pieces, uh, so if, say, for example, I wanted to do something like uh, uh, digital signage, I can select all the devices and simply come in here and, and make a change and enter in the appropriate URL. And I push that out across uh, all the devices. So very, very simple. And we also have uh, our analytics side. So uh, this piece takes a, takes a minute to load. <laughs> Uh, it is a demo and it is grabbing a, a lot of information. But as you can see, it's, it's pushing out across all the different things from calling to messaging to meetings and so forth. Uh, at a quick overview, I can tell how many meetings I've had, uh, the, the minutes that that's taken, uh, the total participants, and I get to see all of this data. If I scroll down to the bottom of the screen, I can start seeing um, who are my big talkers are, if I was doing some uh, labs or some testing down the road, I could easily talk to those guys to, to maybe help facilitate those different pieces. But I can grab a ton of metrics. I can also look at the quality uh, for those, uh, those calls or those sessions, the average time it took for, for people to, to join, what locations they were at, the audio quality that goes along with that. So here I can see specific details that are related to audio. I can even get the, the meeting numbers. And from here, if I want to, and I needed to drill down to get more pertinent information, I can easily copy this meeting number, take it over to troubleshooting and enter in the meeting number. I could also include things like the conference ID or device name 
or email address to start getting even more pertinent data so that I can be in troubleshooting in case any uh, errors or issues occur. So this is a very, very quick and high level overview of Cisco WebEx Control Hub. Uh, as you know, it's great for businesses, both big and small, and providing WebEx services while optimizing device storage is something that Cisco WebEx Control Hub is very, very good at. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation. I know I did.